Hey, we don't actually have a sponsor for this episode. I just wanted to make sure that you're having a good day because I care a lot about you and I love you a lot. I would love you a lot more if, if you checked out our Patreon. <laughs> Link in the description. You know, actually, speaking of not my proudest moments, I had... <laughs> The one time I went to a convention, do you do you guys know Shinji's fucking voice actor? Yeah, he's uh, a fucking S tier fucking... twink. <laughs> what? What? Oh, are you gonna hear this? Do we start already? I'm not. I'm just talking, man. Oh, You're okay. Being a weirdo. I'm not but, being a weirdo. Uh, he's hot as fuck. The dub actor? Yeah, the dub actor. S tier twink. I'm dead ass. What the Shinji. fuck are you talking about? Spike Sp Spike Spencer. I'm no, Casey Mongilo. I'm talking about Spike Spencer. I don't know what you're talking about. I look up Shinji dub voice actor and all I see is Casey Mongilo. Spike Spencer shows up as like a seventh result. I'm talking about him because this is the one I saw at a convention. <laughs> that is I not an S tier twink. That is not an S tier twink. No, no, he was like just like, father. he was just like, <laughs> either way. I, this might be the Netflix. Here's guy, the though. thing. He, he's like a 50 year old man or something i don't remember right. i just remember i because it was like one of like maybe my second fucking anime convention and i this we my friend and i were like trying out different things going to like panels i fucking think panels suck and blow ass oh she, uh, the the s tier twink is for the netflix oh club. gotcha i just went to the fucking i just went to his fucking panel because we were like bored as shit wondering what to do and it was like a, this voice acting panel where it was like how to be a voice actor by Spike Spencer. And then he was just showing us how to do these different things. He was like, oh, here's how you do a blood curdling scream. And then it was like a huge audience of like maybe 150 people. And then he was like, it was like everybody going like, oh, ah, whatever, fucking doing blood curdling screams. And then at one point he just randomly said like, oh, who here likes the Simpsons? And then uh, everybody, I, do. I, do. I, I think I know where this is going. Everybody was like, "Oh yeah, 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 I like The Simpsons." And then he, he said, "Who here's like likes Apu?" Oh, and but he didn't say it the way I said it. He didn't say it the way I said it at all. And then everybody, I I, that, I, I don't know when it when it happened. It was like years ago, and I was just everybody was like, "Yeah, we love Apu." Nobody really thought about how weird it was that this fucking cracker. <laughs> This cracker was doing it, and then he just he just kind of like started being like, okay, so this is how you do it. You put your uh, what it was like. You put your tongue to the top of your mouth, and then you start talking like this, and then you you put on a racist accent, and then he was like, okay, everybody, repeat after me, and then he made us uh, repeat his famous lines <sighs> like a. Uh, I don't know. I, I've never watched The Simpsons. Just have a good day. Have a good day. Oh, thank you. Have like a good that, day. Though. Yeah, that's what he says. Or, he, that's Mark. not how he says it. That's David, not how he says it, it at all. Say it, David, I'm not going to. Just ask Spike Spencer. I, I, could, I could hear Ed putting his tongue to the roof of his mouth when you were talking about it. He was. He chambered it. I'm I'm foaming at the mouth. He was like this. Either way, <laughs> he made like <laughs> the entire crowd 150 just a bunch of fucking white dudes with body pillows all going thank you have a nice day and in my head i never thought about how weird that was until like a few weeks like last week i was in bed looking at fucking wedding stuff and i i just i just turned to boone i was like i was racist in public with like uh, a bunch of other white people. White people, when they hear there's going to be racism at the function. Bro, <laughs> would you? I mean, I, I don't know. Everybody was doing it. I would I would. Right yeah. now. I'd get it out of your system. Kind of like <laughs> in the N word. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Uh, <laughs> You're going to get to attack. <laughs> <laughs> so, David, I have a question. Yeah. If you were like the owner of a supermarket and I just yeah. like was like one of your valued customers. And I, yeah. and I was about to leave. I, I just went through like the ding dong, like the little gate that opens automatically oh. when I step on the mat. Like, what would you say yeah. as I'm as I'm leaving? Like, because you say, want me to come back. Right? <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm a valued I, customer. You, what would you say? I'd say, wait, wait, sir, wait, and then I would jump over the counter, grab your ass, and just fucking make make out. So instead of racist, and then you say, decided on come back, babe. weird sexual assault. <laughs> 
No, because it's you. You're you're no, because you said you. You said you, Ed, and I. I would always make no, out. No, with no, no. This is a this is a scenario where we don't know each other I'll, at all. I'm just a recurring customer. I'd be so upset if I didn't know my friend Ed. I would yell, I, "Please do the survey <laughs> at the bottom of your receipt as you walked out. Let me know how uh, I did." Quickie Mark credit card whoa quickie mart can somebody just say welcome to the podcast already can we please get the fuck out of the system can we get it out of the system i don't want to be here man i already fucking talked about my apu story and everything i was trying to make it natural i didn't even say anything i was just like okay this is how we usually do it well i didn't know if you wanted to open with that of course I open with racism. <laughs> well, I literally asked, are we starting? Like, I was confused. No, it's because the way we do it recently, we just kind of talk until no, somebody has a story, like, and then we keep going from there. Somebody says something inflammatory. Not always. Sometimes it can be racist. Like, not artificially, though, David. Ed wasn't even fucking talking to us. He was fucking tweeting about Hi-Fi Rush. Yeah, it takes a bit for us to, to get started. You got to let the engine rev a little bit, David. Yeah. Oh, fine. Okay, fine. Let's do my story I, again. I, d David, I had that tweet scheduled like five hours you schedule, ago you scheduled a tweet about liking a video game oh because i fucking 100 percented it at like 4 a.m and i was like i don't want to fucking post this now this dude was like i want as many people to know that i like a video game as possible why'd you yeah, schedule a it game. at a weird time like, some people like to share anybody. enjoyment with other people david Oh, I picked I picked like a I picked like a random time that was like later. So it didn't seem scheduled. I guess. I I just fucking scrolled through the fucking time. <laughs> I quit the podcast. I want to quit the That's podcast. I don't know what's going on, man. I just woke up. Wait, are we recording? We've been recording. Yeah, we're recording. Yeah, we're recording. We I'm pretty sure we're recording. No, I we know clapped. That we clapped. I didn't I didn't know we started. Is this making it in? I asked that like 3 times. I, it's going to be Is really it? heavy. Get in YouTuber mode, you fucking loser. I don't want to get in YouTuber mode, man. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, it's my... Sorry, Welcome it's to the podcast. Bottle. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, shit. Shit, sorry. Hey, Ed, can you uh, sort Can you sort and collect those jars? <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> Ed, I was really Ed, I'm going to need you to collect and sort these jars by, by the end of the episode. Yeah, and uh, all, all these up. mason jars literally fat w to the brim with cum, each of them with their own different Metal Gear Revengeance character inside of them. I'm going to need you to collect and sort these by the end oh, of the day. Oh, I hope the robot dog is one of them. Slosh, slosh. Uh, I was going to say, hey, uh... Hey, old time <laughs> listeners, remember this classic bit I used to do where like, oh my God, we don't have any instruments and I just get, did one of these. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You learned how to do it. You know, you know what I'm saying? You learned how to do it. No, Holy I used to shit. do it into a plastic bottle. That's why it didn't work. Now this is a real man's iron bottle. I iron bottle? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the this podcast. This sucks. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Hey, what have you guys been up to? There's no water in my house right now, so I'm just waiting for the water to turn back on. Really exciting. That's it. I'm, uh, I'm getting married in on Friday. Turkey just had a second six magnitude earthquake, David. You think that's something you'd rather talk about? You want to talk about your wedding instead? People in Turkey are dying and they're homeless. <laughs> hey, David, don't laugh. It's real. It happened. <laughs> I tried, to, I tried not to laugh, but I just, it's just, it's just my, my, my dear friend Ed's delivery. When, when he delivers sad news, I just yeah. laugh. I was actually the one that told David that his father, and he laughed in my face. <laughs> uh, that makes it extra funny when it's real. Unlike the <laughs> second earthquake that hit Turkey, which is not real, and I made it up. Oh, is it? I don't know. I'm not on Twitter right now. Dude, Neither this episode they. fucking sucks. Uh, we need to fuck. we need to pick it up, man. Okay. Uh, so, so fucking, oh, somebody shit. talk about something. I, well, that I isn't don't have the earthquake. Oh, Th that isn't an earthquake. We don't want to talk about the fucking earthquake. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can't either. Uh, I don't think we can. Gonna, like, yeah, YouTube will be like, uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Would you? Would you? Would I mean, you? I have would a story, you? But whatever. Would you? Uh, the rabbit from B Stars. What? Yes. No. Okay. That why not? Because <laughs> one time I got a message from somebody where the rabbit from Beastars was big and round and it said Big Chungus Girlfriend <laughs> underneath of it. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I'm a human. So is she. I'm, 
They're all and, like, they're and all, I gotta tell you something. I, I hate to break this to you, Ed. I hate to tell this to you, but I, you, you know when you know when your mom, when you were young, said there's this little magic box and a whole world is inside of it, and one day you'll visit it too. There are some horrible what? things you've probably seen in that little magic box. The people inside of it are not real. I mean, I'm real, what the fuck are but you the other people about, inside little that little magic box, it? right in front of Isn't you. Isn't that the plot of the third? Yeah. Well, no, that's a little magic box. No, I'm talking about the little not, magic no. rectangle in front of you. The people on the screen sometimes aren't real. What is this magic box, Brendan? I oh, it's never, literally right in front of you. He's you're looking about the you're computer. looking at it right now. You cannot go inside oh. of the computer like in Cyber Chase. I get you're old. We're we're little zoomers. We're little zoomers. We David, don't use I'm gonna your fucking, big box I'm gonna fucking fight computers. you one on one. Meet me on top of the Millennium Tower if you want an ass kicking. Oh, dude, I would watch that so hard. Absolutely. I'd, I'd be in the helicopter recording the whole thing and throwing money down. I will save money. I will DM the Creator Clash again because I did DM them. I DM'd them because Jello told me to. I DM'd them. After the first one, I said, give me Markiplier, and those cowards didn't respond. Fuck the creator clash. Let's do our own at the next, uh, I was going to say a, a specific convention, but I don't think we're allowed to say specific conventions because that would be illegal. We we can do our own, our own fucking boxing show called Pummeling strong truckers we're gonna go to gas stations and <laughs> oh, we're gonna yeah. we're truckers. going to the nearest going to the <laughs> ne oh we can go to iowa's uh, iowa 80 or whatever it's called the world's biggest big, uh, truck stop i80 world's biggest truck stop we could we just go by. fucking beat up some trucks dude nobody i kept david asking, we were driving <laughs> now listen here david as a long time listener of this podcast i love the replays on sirius radio but you'll never be able to beat grass-fed beef bread truckers like I me god to bless stop the by usa that fucking world's biggest truck stop and everybody was such a fucking bitch about it no because we were driving from we were driving for 10 hours so fucking what in a big van and you were like Take let's stop break. the world's biggest truck stop it's like we don't want to stop there we will stop when somebody has to stop i wanted to stop i said i had to stop i had to I had to look at the fucking truck stop museum. You had to piss so much on that trip. Truck stop museum. That's called a parking you lot. You guys are so lame on road trips. Instead of stopping at every fucking big world's biggest chair and world's biggest balls. World's biggest chungus. David, I've literally been on a road trip with you in Colorado. Once. In Colorado. Oh, once, twice. Twice. And, and we had a great time. So you're not talking about me. Yeah. Like, I yeah, I know. I know because we stopped at everything we could. Ch Charlie, you and I, we stopped anytime we could to go see weird shit. You, the other guys, though, okay, well, you are, you were also not there because we were road tripping to your wedding. I wanted to stop at every big thing. That's what you do in road trips. You stop at places and look and gawk at fucking weird shit. But you guys were like, no, we don't want we to had stop to by the so world's far. biggest truck stop. We had so to drive so far. What? It's not about the destination, Ten. It's about the journey. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm coming up with my wife to stay for your wedding for like seven days. Y'all came down for one day for mine. So I like, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't, well, well, I don't know, David. Our trip to your wedding was poorly planned. It was so poorly planned, dude. Not I regret your not fault, taking more days. All of ours. Holy shit. We were like, let's drive 10 hours and then stay one day and then drive 10 hours back and everybody gets on a plane. I just want to mention... We did nothing. None of this was my fault because I didn't go. We did nothing. It Literally, we did nothing. And I was literally waiting at the altar for you to come in and say, uh, when the priest says... I Is object! This anyone? Yeah, exactly. Oh. I was waiting for the I object and you didn't show up and now I'm married to my wife who I love very much. Yeah, coming in like Shrek, kicking your wife down the altar and fucking grabbing Brendan by the hand... And telling him, Brendan, I me? was the one that sent you the big chungus DM. Thank you. I want to <laughs> bless, <laughs> bless <laughs> this mess. I want to talk real quick about we, what Ed did. Oh man, what re recently? So I had to, I had to do an RSVP for my wedding. <laughs> oh yeah. Because the thing is, go on, go I, on. I had to, I like, because we, we have like around seventy guests going coming, and a lot, of, most of them are from the United States. We needed to make sure that everybody knew like a year in advance for the wedding. And I, I, I was like, we're looking at venues, we're looking at caterers, so we needed to know like if there's anybody who needs like. I don't know. Dietary fucking restrictions. Dietary restrictions, all that. Hey, if you need a DJ, my whore of an ex that cheated on me is one now. And it'd be pretty funny if she could like get hired to that, but she didn't know I was coming. Oh, dude, that would be awesome. Yeah. She really liked me for some reason. You've never met her. What? 
Oh, I, <laughs> maybe you have many exes, you fucking weirdo. Either I, I way, I do. I'm talking about the whore who cheated on me. When I gave Ed the RSVP, which is just a, it's a serious RSVP that my mom has access to so she can also <laughs> help with budgeting of the wedding <laughs> and and do you have any dietary restrictions ed just fucking wrote no fat chicks <laughs> did you talk about did, have, have you yet talked about how you set up the 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 wedding invite like no not the yet tables? give me a sec though <laughs> oh my god my, my mom doesn't speak a lot of like english like she she is a very she's french <laughs> and when when she read that she was like what the fuck and i, I quoi, and, and, <laughs> yeah basically like quoi, and i was like oh like the, the uh what ch chicken breasts <laughs> only not chicken thighs because there's a lot of fat on there Is that <laughs> what was, you said? Yeah, cause i don't know I, I was like I, I i went for the worst excuse possible because i didn't know what the fuck to oh, say dude, she was you, like, you she was her. like oh yeah 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 of course of course you should have hit him by like oh mon pote c'est un brawler il veut pas les, les femmes moches <laughs> yeah, what man. the fuck uh, mon, mon, mon pote c'est un brawler il veut pas les grosses pétasses <laughs> That. He just <laughs> That's did. awful. That's so awful. It's fine. Nobody's gonna uh, get it. Either way, when I was setting up the wedding invites, you were drunk. I when was you did like, this one. I was really drunk. I don't remember why I was drunk. Oh, it's because it was the night. It was like the night that I got the fucking. I went to do my um uh my scan for my liver disease. Oh, and I was drunk too. Yeah, they were like, "Oh, we you don't have you don't have liver disease anymore." And I was like, "Epic. I'm going to drink I'm going to have a beer tonight." And then it ended up being more than one beer. Yeah. And I was just setting up the thing, and I had this realization that my friend group, I have like three distinct friend groups. I have IRL friends from like way back. I have my YouTuber and influencer friends. I'm sorry for saying influencer. That was really dirty. It's okay. You can and say then I file. have my I say Okay, fine. <laughs> I say influencer when I'm sick because I have the influenza. Hey, yo. Yeah, baby. And then I have my furry friends. And I just I decided what would be really fucking hilarious is if I made a fucking in the questionnaire right under dietary restrictions as if I just wrote, do you want to go to the influencer table or the furry table? And it made everybody so fucking confused. And I also sent it to my family because <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> And all of them were like, what does this mean? C'est quoi le furry? What's it? C'est quoi le furry, bro? I made it. It just made everybody super confused. I kept getting messages like, where is Ed going to sit? I want to sit with Ed. Is he a, Is he in the furry table? <laughs> Or the influencer table? I was like, bro. Bro, there's, you sit where you want. That was a joke. I had to remove it from the questionnaire because everybody got confused. Because no, it was a question. And, uh, like, the only people who knew were the people sitting around drinking. It was like I me, know. I, you, I, I, and like I, yeah, three or four other people. My girlfriend got stunlocked. She was asking me, like, Ed, which one are you <laughs> in? And I got kind of mad. <laughs> She asked you if you were in the on the furry table. Yeah. I feel like it would have been obvious who's in the influencer table. I'm just glad I made Mandy fucking check the influencer. I don't know why, but that made me fucking laugh. I, I I want to also mention regarding the wedding that uh, David has yes. already uh, ruined his own wedding because he has banned Chaz from the premises. I just want to put what that I out did. there. No. I wanted to invite Chaz. Uh, my girlfriend wanted yeah. to invite Chaz. We wanted dude, our we own little Chaz people. moment. It's so expensive, at, at dude. At the event, but I guess... Uh, bro, we can't have fun. We can't have nice things anymore. Bro, you don't you know, know how expensive a wedding is. I'm sorry. Whatever, dude. No, but my favorite part of that was like, because the confusion came from David invited both me and my girlfriend separately. Well, I didn't, I didn't he, know it was going to be separate. I was just like, because in my head, I was like, I, I was just telling both of you in messages because you were both together while it happened. I can't remember. You were at yeah. like a bar. Yeah. So I was just like, I'll message both of them so they can both see it because we need to rent this venue as soon as possible. Because it's like renting a venue for a wedding is a fucking nightmare. You have to visit a bunch of them. You have to make sure you get the right one that has like every option available for what you need for it. And it it's like, a, it's a fucking nightmare. And also it has to have like the exact number of guests you think you're going to get. No, I, I know. But like the confusion came from 
we both got an invite link and added to the guest list. So it's like, oh, I guess we can bring plus ones. Like I was considering bringing Trelly, but I guess you hate him too. Uh, and then Kat was like, oh, I guess I'll bring Chaz. And then she invited Chaz. And then David later told us, oh, sorry, I thought you guys were going to be each other's plus ones. This shit's going to be very expensive. Do you mind telling <laughs> Chaz that he can't go? No, no, no. The story ends in a funny way, David. Okay. Uh, so, and then we were both like, oh, yeah, no, that's not a problem at all. Like, we don't care. It, it, and I mainly don't care because it's going to be Kat that has to tell Chaz that he's actually uninvited. So Kat goes to tell Chaz, hey, Chaz, sorry, there's a miscommunication. You you actually can't come to David and Boo's wedding. To which Chaz replied, wait, what is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> So what? he does not give a fuck. Man. <laughs> I felt bad too. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I I don't want to be that. I, I don't think he remembers me. I'm going to be honest. No, he does. I, I not only does he not once. remember you. He'll remember me. He better still have that picture he of me. He doesn't remember what that was, even though that was like the next day. He's that I know. That, that's what I'm thinking. I was like, dude, that was like literally <laughs> next day I had to tell you this. And then when Kat explained it, he was like, oh, okay, that's fine. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And it just makes the fact that David was like, Ed, I'm so sorry. You have to tell Chaz that he can't come. I'm so sorry. I'm so... <laughs> And then well, Chaz I felt like, bad because then I was like, eh. dude, you get invited to a wedding and then somebody just tells you, like, actually, you can't come. It's like, oh, no, uh, but, like that's weird. Can't explain it well. He got it. So he <laughs> just the fact that his response was, wait, what is that? <laughs> Am I going to that? <laughs> I just realized that David and Boo's <laughs> wedding is going to be like only the second um, gay wedding that I've been to. And the other one, I wasn't a guest. Uh, I was actually working it, and it ended early because somebody got assaulted. Ten, in my opinion, all marriage what? is gay marriage. <laughs> I so assaulted like assaulted. Yeah, in what like violence? Like violence? <clears throat> yeah. Not not well, not, not not the grooms. Not the grooms. Well, you. It was like two other guys that were there because like I have to work weddings at my job. Like I drive people yeah. from the parking lot up to the wedding venue, and everything was going great. Like it was a it was a good night. We had that going on. We had like another public event going on. So I ended up just like having to ferry people down to the parking lot in a little golf cart. Um, and I came back up from bringing like a couple down to their car. And there was probably like three or four police cars out in front of it. Oh, my God. Um, and I I like just got back. So I stopped the golf cart like kind of back. And I saw my supervisor, who was also a gay man, just like standing hands on his hips, just like looking. And I walk over to him and I'm like, what's going on over there? <laughs> He's like, oh, uh, I don't know. Some guy's gotten a spat and he grabbed a glass bottle and just broke it over the dude's head and just ran oh off. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and they that never caught really him. Hurts. Breaking it on top of... Dude, actual glass bottles are so fucking thick, dude. That must have been a really hard fucking knot. Like, he must have really gone for it. I don't know. I, I don't think they ever caught the guy. Uh, and I don't care because all of the police officers told our special events crew that... Uh, shut it down, get everybody out of here. So I got to go home early. <laughs> and that guy's wedding got ruined. Yeah, that fucking sucks. If anybody does that at my wedding, I'm going to fucking kill you, Ed. It's fine. They they kind of deserved <laughs> it because they were the having hell? a Jurassic Park-themed wedding at a zoo. Oh, my God. David, I know you said, what you know, all that, but whatever. But what if, like, mm. you know, I brought Chaz anyway? He would have to stay at the hotel. <laughs> What do you want? From, what do you? Where, where do you think I'm? What do you think I was gonna say? I thought you could say like, "Oh, okay, let's have a fundraising stream." You know, you know, like get him to the Greek, motherfucker. But if it's there's jazz and it's getting to the gays. If there's any fucking fundraising <laughs> stream, I need to do it's for the actual fucking wedding. This That's is just for the expensive. wedding. No, but Ed, I need to pay for fucking venue. Chaz is a fucking stretch goal. I need to pay for fucking. <laughs> everything <laughs> i already had to pay for the rings the rings were fucking expensive and the what dude the actual fucking i don't know how it is in the u.s but signing a fucking those fucking papers and everything for the wedding is fucking expensive notary fees are fucking crazy oh it's like notary fee i don't just go to the courthouse i'm just saying brendan would have let me bring Chaz. i would have let ed bring Chaz. absolutely why didn't i go to that one you didn't i didn't you not pay what? Wasn't it your parents that paid for your wedding? For mine? Yeah. I mean, my wedding was super cheap. And also, like, the, the fees to, like, sign papers at the courthouse is, like, 50 bucks. What the fuck? <laughs> it's, like, 50 bucks. We went to the courthouse. We got, like, papers signed. My mom had to be there because you needed a witness. 
Uh, and then I, we had I, our I know ceremony. Why, oh, I know Chad's why mine is. The witness. Yeah, I, 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 I just realized why. It's because it's we also had to do bonus, <laughs> bonus immigration fees. Ah, uh, David, I have a question. Uh, because I've no, recently boy. found out that I'm a drug addict. Uh, if I go to your oh, if I go to your wedding, uh, is it okay if I'm on acid the whole time? I want to be on acid when I'm sitting at the furry table. I want to no, see fucking... what will happen. And I'm Ed, gonna bring a candy you... bowl full of hard candies, and they're all gonna be full of fentanyl. Ed. I'm so sorry to tell you, Ed, but they're just going to be normal people dressed normally. No, Ed, I know, bring... but on acid they'll be like, you know, I'm gonna have a on acid. Everything's gonna look like seasons three of The Simpsons. You're gonna look into their soul, and you think you're gonna see fucking like their persona, dude. No, but like I, I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I popped acid yesterday. That was fun. Oh, I thought you were talking about uh, the other day when okay. you told me that you had Nyquil for the first time. And you oh no, an addict. no! No, no! I'm definitely, <laughs> I, I'm definitely an addict to Nyquil now too. Dude. Nyquil is fucking crazy. I never had that shit in my life. I thought it was a bit like you know Benadryl or whatever, but like Nyquil, my ass was sick like two weeks ago after the Tekken tournament. By the way, I'm gonna fucking kill Leon. Do you guys see that Leon posted a picture with Harada and it's me? Yes. Yeah. Harada followed him for that. <laughs> oh, dude, that sucks to be you, man. I'm. I'm so <laughs> tilted. I'm so mad. So unbelievably mad. And, I'm, and, and dude, I, I have a theory that Harada is the one that got me sick. Cause like we fucking, we spoke to like Why, no did one. Did you fucking kiss Kissed. him while he was coughing yeah. in your mouth? I mean, most people at that tournament had like stink lines, like visible stink lines. So I'm like, I don't want to meet any of these grown men. So like the only people, like the only person I took a picture with was Harada. And at one point he like spat poison in my mouth, like Armor King. He went like, Puss. Or like some Yoshimitsu shit. Tekken Man, that's humor. That's gotta be racist. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, NyQuil kicks ass. I, I was taking like two a day every night to fucking help me go to sleep. Dude, NyQuil dreams are crazy. It's like, it's like some hat man like tear shit. You don't even realize you've woken up. But dude, seriously though, acid, uh, I it's gonna be like fucking M MDMA. I need to like get this shit. Cause like now, like I'm looking at drug addicts now like in the street begging for crack and I'm like Frank Reynolds at the end of season 13. I'm like, I get it now. PST podcast you know? does not condone uh, <laughs> abusing substances. No, I mean, I'm not abusing him yet. Well, it's not abuse if it, you're having a good time. <laughs> Wait, that's how, don't. <laughs> Disclaimer. Do not me on that. If you're having Disclaimer. fun. Disclaimer. <laughs> Disclaimer. If you're having a good time, it's fine. It's not a crime to have a good and time. And by the way, good time is really vague. Let people David, enjoy good job things. making a pro drug slogan. <laughs> let people enjoy things. <laughs> For fuck's sake, let people enjoy things. Me watching a crackhead outside my building stab a woman in the face and telling the cops to calm down. Let him enjoy Chill out, guys. God, God forbid men do anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, I went over to um, a friend's place uh, who is an acid head, I guess you could call them, if I guess the acid term. Head? I mean, the term drug addict has a really bad juju, you know, so I'm going to go with acid head instead. But I went with two friends that have never done it. And like at most we've we've like gotten high on, you know, marijuana or like, you know, drank. Yeah. So and like the only psychedelic I've ever taken was shrooms. And I was like fucking ages ago because uh, I've only done I'm of the mind that, like, I'm down to try something that isn't going to put me in a trailer park once. I don't want to do it multiple times. I'll try it once to see, like, what the big deal is. So we did acid. Uh, put it in your mouth. And did you guys ever do it? No. <laughs> it's like it's like a little square piece of paper you just put in your mouth and you let it yeah, melt like in your tablet. tongue. And then, the one I did was uh, you just the other said one. No. Fucking, I haven't done it. I've seen people do it. No, no I, I, I did another. Oh. I, I said I, I was going to say I did another fucking, uh, what's the word? Psychedelic. Psychedelic. I was like a hypnotic. <laughs> I'm, I'm not well. Putting <laughs> David Blaine in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I did it. What was it? Holy shit. LSD? David squared. It was shwooms, and then I had the that. biggest tummy ache. Oh yeah, dude, that bitch, that bitch gave Did me you eat big beforehand? tummy ache. No, I don't think so. Uh, I don't yeah, remember. It, it do was it. Like, if you do shrooms on an empty stomach, you got to. It be was fucking in college. Resilient. I went to. We went to a fucking show in a park, and I was not having it. I was not liking the experience. No, don't go to a show with all this stuff. Like, especially if you're doing There's it for the too first much going time, on, you got to you got to take it easy. Like, all we did was like, like we took them at noon and we just stayed in this dude's attic till 11 p.m. 
it was fucking awesome because he had like a record player and, and like the guy the guy's an audio engineer oh he's just like you david too bad you're getting married can't fuck this guy what Get what the fuck <laughs> What the fuck, man? What the was fuck so was aggressive? that about? What the fuck was that about? I didn't even do anything. I'm just standing yeah, here yeah, exactly. listening. I was literally standing here listening. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're such a dick. I thought, it's the NyQuil. It's changed him. I think. I, I thought all audio <laughs> oh, engineers, they're like, they're like, you know. Trying to have sex with have each like other? They yearly orgy. <laughs> like fucking politicians. The acoustics <laughs> in that room's got to be insane. <laughs> What the fuck? I don't know, man. What do audio engineers do when they have sex? <laughs> Damn, nice. Uh, uh, p- pitch. Boom, Mike. B- boom, Mike. M- tell your fucking stories, <laughs> dickhead. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what, we're waiting on you to fucking dude, keep going. How is this my fault? I was being casually homophobic. <laughs> you guys didn't have to, like, it wasn't that deep, bro. Um, <laughs> it was in the deep. Bro. Shut yeah, up. We were in, tell your fucking We thing. were in the attic. And we were just listening to music. And um, so I wrote down a couple things. And there was some photo evidence of like, because uh, I was documenting my experience, like my stream of consciousness with Charlie. You guys remember him? Yeah, I remember. Talking to the audience. Oh, oh well, um, yeah. We, we talked about Charlie like earlier when we were talking about whatever. I, I don't care. But yeah, the main, the main thing that happened after the first two, three hours was uh, you start laughing a lot and like talking a shitload. And because we had a record player, you know, obviously, occasionally you have to change the music. Uh, our friend, who was also on acid, uh, I managed to uh, time it. Once we had reached the peak, it took him like 10 minutes to change the record. <laughs> 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 because uh, he was just oh, looking through fuck. and just like leaning his head down to go through the records was fucking killing him. Because at one point, he genuinely did think the floor was lava. So he was scared of oh, like, no. getting close to the floor <laughs> to look at the See, records. That's the problem. That's the problem with getting high on stuff like that. Is just if one, I like, I don't know if that ruined your. That would ruin my vibe. I would be like, oh, dude, oh good. I now, had an amazing time. I, like the thing is, if somebody has a bad trip or is not bad trip, but just not feeling good all of, out of nowhere, I, I'm like, oh, dude, there it goes. And at one point, he managed to pick out an album, and he's like, oh, dude, no way. You got the doors? Is this the doors? I love the doors. Is this the doors? <laughs> and he just kept falling. Feedback loop. Like, oh, that's so good. Okay, okay. This is good. And then he put it on his lap and then he kept looking. And I was recording the whole thing and I was dying he kept laughing. Looking and I was at like, it. bro, what are you doing? And he went, I'm looking for gold, man. L- look at your lap, bro. You have a record right there. And he was like, no, no, this is an option. We're doing options now. <laughs> and then he kept oh, looking. dude. <laughs> That reminds me of being high. It took him 10 entire minutes. And then uh, I started documenting. So here's did he one put the of doors the... On? He did end up, end, end up putting the doors on because we all started yelling at him like, dude, you're never going to find a fucking album. Just put this in. Oh so You didn't even let him get options. To be fair, you didn't get At one option. point, I, uh, I tried to tell them like, dude, right now, I really feel like watching Dune, like the new one. But then I looked up like dune the emperor and i was asking my friends like how does this guy work biologically like you know the not the emperor dude but like the floating fat guy but i found yeah. but when i looked him up i got like the original dune and then i want you guys to see this like stream of consciousness i sent to charlie which is a picture of the fat guy from dune ooh, ooh, with ooh. what's his who wants to play charlie i mean there's no charlie in this i was just gonna read it oh <laughs> I, it's a picture of the fat guy from dune and then i say What's his fucking problem? And then five minutes later, I said, Shinzo Abe really died, huh? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. I don't remember doing any of this. Bruh. Um, and then just so you guys have, have an awareness of how well the trip went later down <laughs> that day, an hour later, I sent Charlie this, which is just a message that says... <laughs> The wall will eat me. <laughs> the wall will the wall. eat me. So here's a little list of the funny things that were happening. Uh, the first thing that started happening was uh, that friend of mine who was um, struggling to change the records. He started not being able to recognize faces anymore. He didn't know who we were. <laughs> that would freak Jesus. me the fuck out. If everybody was- looked like a Slenderman, I would freak the fuck out. 
That's he would have so... to get up and get in your face to recognize who you were. But because I was in the other side of the room, like he could hear my voice and recognize me, but he would just look at me and start laughing and go, Ed, you look like a random guy right now. I have no idea what's happening with your fucking face. <laughs> and that was fucking killing me. And for most of that night, I was lying on, on the couch that was in the attic. And at one point, uh, my friend was like, you know, talking about like his gaming chair because he has a secret labs thing. And I was like, oh, I've never tried the secret labs chairs. They always look really comfortable. I've heard they're pretty, yeah. I heard they're pretty good for gamer, gamer chairs. So I sat on it and he was like, oh, dude, you got to fuck with like the back thing, like the, the with the lever and make it like all the, make it go like all the way down. And I was like, huh. like, you know, like every time it moved down, I would kind of freak out a bit because I was tweaking. But then like I kept going down and down and down and then to the point where like it was completely flat. And my legs were like touching the floor. And then I was telling them like, this is giving me horrible circumcision flashbacks. I really am not comfortable right what now. What the fuck? Because <laughs> it felt like a fucking operating what table. Fuck? So like, I was just lying down trying to look at the ceiling. But then like, because of what acid does to your eyeballs, everything's like wavy. So the waves yeah. in my peripheral vision felt like people harvesting my cock. So I kept fucking looking around <laughs> like somebody was behind me. Uh, Shrooms was like, instead of wavy, it was like everything was onion peeling, <laughs> onion skinning. I don't know what the word is, but every, I don't know. Does, do you get what, do anybody, does anybody understand what I mean by onion skinning? It's so Kinda weird. like the, the feel of things like when you in touch anima- it? No, like, like it, no, like, like in unfolding. animation. No, like in animation, there's like onion skin is like oh, the last layer yes, is no, on top of like, the new layer. Yeah, so you, and it you looks would see like a trail. Weird. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like a weird trail. It's fucking weird. But it's like specifically it looks like onion skinning in animation software. No, I... Very goofy. I, I very, absolutely, very goofy. I absolutely get what you mean. For me, like shit, that, that happened to me on, on shrooms. But for me, like with acid shit was just wavy all the time. But then like during the peak, I started like just straight up seeing shit. So at one point we were listening to to Feel Good Inc. Cause yeah, Demon Days on vinyl. And I thought that um the rapping parts were coming from the walls and, and like- Oh, and that's when the walls eat. Yeah, and, that, and, and the walls were like fucking just talking to me and whispering shit at me. And at one point I was like, okay, I gotta stop looking at the wall. And then I started instead like, I lied flat on the couch. And I was just staring at the ceiling. And then like at that point, I got a little bit bored. So I told my friends like, okay, we got to start seeing demons. Like we, th- this is getting like too chilled out. What's the like the craziest shit you have that will make us like what freak out? Fuck? You're and a it, psychopath. And then he looked through Why his record. What the he fuck are you doing? He went through his record and he was like, uh, I got this the. This dude literally went, oh, we're, I'm having way too much of a good <laughs> <I'm having laughs> I want to feel unwell. Fun. No, I straight up said we have to start seeing demons. And then uh, my friend was like, uh, I mean. I got the Doom 2016 soundtrack. We can listen to that if you want. <laughs> and then he put it on, set every ambient light in his room to red. <laughs> <laughs> and then so, dude, that's unwell. That was that was what I said. The wall will eat me because at that point the shapes, like his ceiling, was like wood planks, and you know, like how wood has like this thing where like the lines they go down, but then like at one point there's like circles. In wood, yes, they looked yeah. like eyeballs like to a me. Log? It felt like the oh ceiling had tons of eyes, and I was fucking freaking out. And at one what? point, I at one why point I swear to yourself. At one point, why, I swear why, to God, why was that? Your the fucking... lines formed like a demon woman who kept beckoning me with her index <laughs> finger to join her in the wall, in the ceiling. And there was like a, a, a crevice in the ceiling that kept, that kept expanding and expanding. And she kept going like, come here, come here. <laughs> what the fuck? What's your problem, man? <laughs> Why? You literally went, I want to feel unwell. <laughs> no, and then just that- fucking... I, I want to trigger I'm some having- crazy anxiety right now. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> and then my friend who couldn't recognize my face, he started like... Um, he also went like on the on the flat secret labs chair and he like lied down and he was like, oh, this is really nice. I don't know what you mean by like you felt like you were at an operating table. And then I went, oh, that's because you have your legs on like a leg rest. Put your feet like plant them on the floor. And then and then the moment his feet touched the floor, he went, oh, yeah, this is horrible. And then he put his feet immediately <laughs> what back the fuck? on the rest. And then at some points. 
he he was just like just complete. It looked like he was like catatonic. He was just staring at the ceiling along with me. And then sometimes I would just like look over to him. And then I don't know how he did it, but every time he could tell I was looking at him, and then he just went, "Ed, fucking stop doing that. Stop right now." <laughs> Without even looking at me. The moment I would look at him, he'd go, stop. Stop doing that right now. <laughs> one one fun side effect of acid is um, uh, your piss oh feels God. like uh, longer than it should be because you, lo you lose <laughs> yeah, complete time track of time. Up. So like, I mean, yeah. a lot of stuff. At, at one point I was like, man, I really, really need to piss. And then I had to deal with stairs. Thankfully, like stairs weren't an issue for everybody. Um, but like I was just, I, I, I took my little wiener out, went to the toilet, started peeing. And then as I'm peeing, <laughs> yeah. I'm like looking at myself in the mirror and the mirror is like fucking, it's like a wavy carnival mirror, like in my head. And then I look back at my cock and the toilet is foaming. And I'm just like, how long have I been pissing? <laughs> I had no fucking clue how long I had been there. And like neither do any of my friends because they were also lost track of time. And then when I opened the door, yeah. my friend was like, holy fuck, dude, I forgot you were here. <laughs> dude, stairs when you're high are fucking rough. Dude, they Honestly. are. They are. Dude, I, I, I had the wobbly legs. I just can't believe that your toilet turned into Charybdis from legend and myth. I don't know what that is, Brendan. <laughs> I don't uh, know yeah, what that yeah, okay. Is you say you love God of War and you don't know what Charybdis is. Okay, grow up, Wasn't baby. Charybdis and Mandy. Is that his daughter? Huh? What? What? <laughs> Why'd you say Mandy? What are you but, saying? I don't Why know. Why did you say Mandy? You said Mandy. I, I, I thought I said Ed. No, I'm having said, a moment. What? You said Mandy. <laughs> no, Brenda just said Mandy, and I was like, what are you talking about? I confused the two. I got confirmed. I, I, my brain stopped working They're there. They're not the same. One's racist, remember? I accidentally clicked on TikTok <laughs> while we were recording, and I was listening to Ed's story about substance abuse, and the first video that popped up on my hey. TikTok was somebody grilling a cat. <laughs> he, he, he also <laughs> so used I've, it for a little bit. <laughs> and so like i was i was i was sitting I, I, here honestly, if there was any fucking you did abuse it at, at first it was all fun and then you decided i'm not gonna have fun and that's when it became if you're on a because... substance and the, if there's abuse even to the person it's still substance abuse no but like here's the thing it was it was genuinely too much of a good time i was like dude we got to make ourselves see demons otherwise this is gonna be boring <laughs> you're so fucking dumb I mean, yeah the doom music uh definitely helped and then at one point we also like like once the I, that I, I feel like it's the opposite of help, once them to, to change the mood because then we got really hungry and we ordered a shitload of fried chicken so uh, to change the mood we were like all right now that the doom record is over let's listen to some funny shit and then we found like this guy that does mashups of like you know the auction guys yeah and like whatever like the scoop to be scoop to be going similar to going to like seventy eight whatever <laughs> that's what you think they say yeah. Scooby that's, what they B, Scooby yeah, that's what they sound like but like they he found a guy that does mashups of auction uh dealer guys auctioneers w but with a auctioneers. but with a trap beat in the back <laughs> <laughs> and dude that shit <laughs> went hard dude if i want to have a laugh i just listen to Lil dicky and i can't stop laughing hey do you fuck with the war Lil dicky's so fucking funny has corbin ever told you his uh little dicky rule <laughs> what's his little dicky rule if he's if he's if he's uh under the influence of any kind of substance his friends aren't yeah. allowed to play little dicky around him <laughs> why because he'll start singing why? all of it what? he he thinks he, 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 he will dicky? he will think that he is little dicky <laughs> it, oh is that because of the woman that said he looked like little dicky oh I wait no know. she said he she he looks like jack harlow that's the one he does kind of look one. a little bit like he do. He no, does kind of look well. like you know who he looks no, not, like. Looks like a uh, young gravy. He does look like young gravy. He looks exactly like fucking young gravy. Um, he even he even has sex with uh, milfs like young gravy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, the um, the last thing that of note that happened uh, f with after my little like uh, we called it a vision quest. Um, I you're so fucking white. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's such. You're so white. It's we all, we love Blue Mountain State. It's a funny show. Ugh. Um, we went downstairs uh, after we got our chicken. We were like, all right, let's put fucking whatever on the TV. I don't. I'm not really gonna watch it. I'm really focused on this chicken right now, dude. Food on acid tastes amazing. Genuinely, if you're having like a food day or like it's a day oh, where you food eat food, on, uh... like just you should not do drugs. But if you would, it would feel good. Yeah. 
Um, but uh, we were eating our chicken, and what we put on on the TV since we don't have Adult Swim in um in Europe is uh, Adult Swim uploads like archives of their TV broadcasts onto YouTube. So we found like a one hour and a half playlist from like a couple years ago, and it was playing like episodes of Rick and Morty back when it wasn't shit. <laughs> so it was playing the episode where like um I don't know if you guys are Rick and Morty heads. But in case the audience is, it's the episode where like the house is infested with parasites that inject false memories onto you and make you think like your family oh, has like yeah. a billion relatives. Yeah, I, I know what you're going to say. Um, So we were watching that one inside this one hour and a half broadcast. And then. Oh, no. Did you did you start fucking? Dude. No, I, I know what he's going to say. Dude, out of fucking nowhere throughout this entire normal episode, there's this bit at the 14 minute mark where Morty just fucking starts glitching out and becomes like a fucking ghoul. And it's like a creepypasta and his mouth extends and shit. And we all just dropped our chicken and went, what the fuck just happened? Because then the show keeps going like nothing happened. Yeah, because you, 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 Ed, Ed, Ed was watching the fucking April Fool's broadcast from like a year or two ago, the Blibby one. Yep. They uploaded the entire what? thing. Do, do you what remember when- What is Blibby? It was, it I was don't a, know. No, we don't have Adult that, Swim. It was a thing that Adult Swim did. Uh, it was like this fake show that they made up, and for April Fools, it was like, "Oh, the character is going through all these shows." So, and it wasn't just that one; it was every show they no, did that night. I that know like that. because we kept watching what? it, and we kept fucking tweaking. Ten, we thought we were still I, fucking fake. I and I'm so happy that you all did acid and then accidentally watched the Adult Swim uh, April Fool. That's broadcast. fucking Dude, we were freaking I would, out. I would, I would panic, dude. My friend, the guy that I feel like it was hitting him the hardest uh, because like he was the guy that straight up couldn't recognize my face. He started twitching <laughs> like he started spasming like <laughs> no occasionally. Dude, what the fuck? That's not funny. That's horrifying. What the fuck? Here's a, here's no, a timestamp. I put it in general. Here's a timestamp of like what I'm talking about, by the way. Yeah, that happened. No, it, was, it was every show that night. But up until you literally clicked on the one that said adults. You know, oh, because we yes. didn't. Dude, we couldn't read. Are you kidding me? It was all waves to us. You yeah, know, that, that was their yeah, April the Fool's broadcast. That was their April Fool's broadcast. Every single yeah. show that they had. To every death. single episode had like a weird little edit that was like a creepypasta, but they, they don't bring it up. And it only happens once per episode. Yeah, so they don't bring it up because it just it's just but a David, fucking, for the first 14 minutes nothing was fuck? different so imagine four dudes just chilling eating chicken they're barely watching the episode they're tweaking on acid and they see that shit <laughs> <laughs> we freaked oh i just the saw the one I, I just saw the one in fucking uh the smiling friends episode what the fuck Dude. Dude, that's awesome. I would not feel yeah, good. Yeah, no, uh, we didn't. And then we kept thinking that, like, we were just seeing shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, yeah, then we stopped eating chicken. We turned that shit off, and then we went home. <laughs> you didn't even finish your fucking chicken? No, we stopped eating chicken because it was out. There was, um... Oh, <laughs> In the bowl of chicken, there was two giant fucking, like, comically large drumsticks. Like, we're talking, like in a cartoon Viking shit. And we, at one point, we just went, what are we going to do about these? Because we were four and there was two drumsticks. So there was like a nice five minute segment where we all just collectively looked down at a bucket of chicken without saying a word. <laughs> and it felt like a fucking cartoon. Like if you put a camera in the bucket of chicken and just looked up, it'd be like a seed in Madagascar. <laughs> it would be just a bunch of fucking... White dude staring down at you. POV. And then at one point, my friend just goes, I think we should eat that. <laughs> and then that's it. We just had like, we just had to like fucking separate it. Oh, God. Anyway, don't, don't do, uh, none of that yeah, was fun. you should not do drugs. That was awful. You shouldn't do it. <laughs> you want to do that at my wedding? Dude, fuck yes. <laughs> if if <laughs> I'm on acid I and think... I see the furry table... <laughs> There's nothing there. It's just normal people. I don't know why you're being such a fucking freakazoid about it. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't wait to go to your wedding. And I, I get to do, like, the speech, the honorary Ed speech that happens at nobody every wedding. Said, nobody said you could do that. And, and then, like, I'm just on acid. I'm just like, how long have I been talking? You guys hungry? That'll be fun. I can't wait to do that. I can't wait to do oh, that dude, thing that David a... promised. What? What did I promise? You promised me that I'd get to have a little Ed moment. I'd get to have a little I Ed speech. 
I did. I I just learned about it right now, and I just said I don't want you to do that. I don't know what you're talking about right now. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's fine. We'll talk about it after we're done recording. No, no, no. we're not doing that. You're not doing that. <laughs> you're not doing that. But, but your mom said I could. Your my mom didn't say shit. You don't even. Actually, my mom's excited to meet you because I was like, oh, I only he he speaks French, and then she was like, no way, one French. <laughs> Oh, no way. He hates fat chicks, too. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, that's not nice. C'est le fat chic. No, oh. yeah. Man, good times. Good times with the acid. Uh, I think, what drugs have I not done? Oh, my God. Smack. Dude. <laughs> crocodile. Uh, what is crocodile, anyway? Am I stupid? It, the drug? I thought it was... Yeah. I thought crocodile was just, like... Wasn't it just bath salts? <laughs> No, it might be. something else. I know it's I I know Crocodile it's the one that it's drug. the one that makes you wanna it makes your skin fucked up. It's yeah. like, oh it's morphine. It's morphine. It's called desomorphine. No, it it's desomorphine is a is semi-synthetic like a... opioid commercialized by Roach with powerful fast acting effects. Who the fuck is Roach? Such as sedation. That's Carol's and... Rivia's horse. <laughs> Thank Not you, true. Brendan. Oh my god, dude! At one point, we just we just all started talking like Geralt. <laughs> I I hope I that all of you know. got into a big wooden bathtub. I hope if I if I'm ever on action and I want you to be there, you can be Yennefer, I can be Geralt. Let's work this out, dude. We we I just remembered we all just got in a circle. We all just started talking like where uh, like werewolves, like Geralt. We were like mm, Italians humming werewolves. You have your, you gotta get in this bathtub. You have your oils. Uh, and then we just, we all kept saying, care for a round of Gwent? Like we all just kept asking. <laughs> <laughs> we all just started talking about Gwent. Like, Fuck. dude, I would love to fucking play Gwent right now. <laughs> like, we all just got so <laughs> hype over Gwent. Uh, oh, God, I'm getting lightheaded just from everything. I'm just going to get a fucking... I, I'll get a Gwent table at my wedding. Yes! Finally. We can all go play Gwent. And you're only allowed to sit there if Gwent you're... table, but your mom has to deal at the Gwent table and make the decks. She doesn't know what Gwent exactly. is. Exactly. Here's what we do, actually, is we have two tables. <sighs> Instead of furry and influencers, it's people who like The Witcher, a.k.a. Redditors, and people who like Fallout New Vegas, also Redditors. At one table, it's Gwent. The other table is Caravan. What the fuck is Caravan? From Caravan. Fallout Vegas. They don't, they literally 10 before you like jumped into VC, they had a full like five minute discussion about how much they think Fallout New Vegas sucks. Uh, we don't like, we did not say that. We hate we, it. We said, I, okay, I kind of hate it, but it's because. <laughs> David wow. trying to save it for the it, comment it's section. Not, it's okay, David. You can be wrong online. I don't care. I, I think that game bores. That boring. Game Fallout 3 is boring. Fallout, Fall, yeah, no, Fallout New Vegas stinks. is boring. They're both boring. I like all Fallout the Fallout Vegas things. Good. Fallout 2 is good. Hey, Fallout 10. is boring. What? Hey, Ten, how do you feel about, like, because I've been watching old Zero Punctuation videos in chronological order. How do Why? you feel about him skipping New Vegas because it's just the same game? I know that it's a bit to make people mad, so I think that's funny. No, no, he meant it. Oh, he meant it. He's a yeah, I don't think that's silly a goose. Bit. Yeah, he, he meant it, and then he like just spends the whole review talking about like his first playthrough because he was like, "Well, yeah, if you want to hear what I think of Fallout Three, you go look at the Fallout Three review." Fallout New Vegas is so much better. Fallout Three doesn't but have a lot of Ciencia. Does Fallout Three or New Vegas have uh, the Gwent table that you can play at David's wedding? No, but it has. Caravan. It does have Caravan, which you could play at David's wedding. No, that one's easier. That one is no, just our, an you know what? Deck of cards. At my wedding, at my wedding, it's Gwent only. I'm bringing yes, my caravan deck. Wedding. I have a caravan deck. I'm bringing it. I'm, putting I'm kicking it, I'm my little it. feet and I'm clapping my hands because I just heard there's going to be a Gwent table. <laughs> White people, when they hear there's going to be Gwent at the function. <laughs> <laughs> kicking my little feetsies um, up in the air and getting ready for Patreon questions. David, when I meet what? all your furry friends, you know oh that like, God. you know that thing you put in your hand to like zap people when you shake their hand? It's like a joker a hand move. Buzzer. Yeah, the buzzer? hand buzzer. Yeah. Instead, it's gonna, I'm going to have that, but I'm going to replace the buzzer with like a needle that's full of opioids, and I'm going to shake all the furries' hands like that. <sighs> They're furries. They probably want that. No, exactly. But furries I want to see them fucking, like, I want to have a get big a little table. Spray, just want, get one of those little spray guns that you can spray people's faces with, and then they get uh, they are on acid. No, no, but that's the thing. Like, I'm going to be like the, the, the host, like the guy that serves the blackjack table, but for the Gwent table. And I'm going to tell them, like, you're only allowed to be here if you're tweaking on acid. And guess what, <laughs> Furries? You're all already tweaking on acid. Have a seat. 
And then I'm going to play circus music. Big acid guy. Patreon questions. Dude, like I said, I'm a drug addict now. Oh my god, bitch, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I want to move on. I already Sorry. have so much to censor, bro. God damn. Can't say anything on, tw on YouTube.com anymore. Can't even oh, get dude, canceled. I, I love this one already. Can I pick one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Patreon questions, $5 and uh, above tiers on Patreon.com slash the music, I guess. Ha -ha. Shane Kazier asks, yeah. rank the hottest world leaders, dead or alive. I think hottest is probably the Finnish prime minister. Let me let me see. World leader. Teddy Roosevelt. I, I, let, That's a good no. answer. I'm not gonna lie. Look at his mustache. Google Teddy Roosevelt. Look at his mustache. Hot, let me let me see if there's a list of hottest world leaders. <laughs> yeah, there's so many world leaders. I think there's a lot. I think least hot. I'd have to pick Gandhi. <laughs> David Cameron is in the top twenty-one sexiest world leaders. Isn't that you the pig fucker? On the more. alleged pig com? fucker. That's the pig fucker. Oh damn! <laughs> How hot's are, the pig? Where's the pig ranking? Where's the pig ranking? Top 10 pigs I would like to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the name of this episode. I don't think you can call it that. Oh, uh, damn. The Monaco prince is, is Monaco? Fine. You feel Monaco? Monaco? Mona Monaco? 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 That's gotta be racist. Come on, man. It's, it's Monaco. France. That's true. Yeah, I'd say hottest is the Finnish prime minister least hot gandhi i'm was, looking was at a gandhi list a world i don't know leader? who any of these people are yeah i mean you could pick him as a world leader in civ I, just... I assume that counts <laughs> i don't <laughs> i don't think it does i don't know it was he i i guess he might have been considered a world leader i don't fucking yeah. know Come did on, he hold a political office let's no. not split hairs i'm saying gandhi what hairs he's bald <laughs> i don't know <laughs> who any of these people are that i'm looking at I don't know either. I don't know. Uh, Brendan, who, who? Brendan said, I said, Teddy, I said Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Pay attention. Yeah, Brendan answered immediately. Doesn't he? Isn't that Eggman? No, he has a beautiful mustache. <laughs> That's Jim Carrey. He's not a world leader. Jim Carrey's too busy painting about Christ consciousness the, to lead the free world. No, what's the what's the one? There's a president that was like. I think I think you are correct. I think I think, he, I, I think are you thinking of Teddy Grover Roosevelt? Cleveland? No, they did. Teddy Roosevelt was uh, Eggman was based off of Teddy Roosevelt. That's terrible because Eggman's about destroying nature, and Teddy Roosevelt helped institute the national park system. So I think that's bullshit. I think Sonic is you know shit. What? Brandon, you bringing that up? I'm gonna agree with you. Yeah, I think Sonic is Teddy shit. Roosevelt. Sonic has always been shit. Sonic will always be shit. Teddy Roosevelt he had a fucking really rocks. Fucking scary smile. I don't he's know. fucking hot. No, he's I would let him. I would literally let Teddy Roosevelt split me in half like a fucking log. I don't care if I'm at the lumberjack camp and I'm supposed to be doing work there. I will let Teddy Roosevelt fucking rip me apart like goddamn pulled well, pork. Do work if he's the one stopping you. He, he got shot during a speech and then waited to get medical attention until he finished his speech. And I think that was pretty cool, fucking cool. He's oh, fucking I remember coolest president. That. That's pretty he actually was a guy. Well, never mind. I'm gonna say Teddy Roosevelt. Oh. Yeah, sure. Did you know Abraham Lincoln wrestled? Did you know Abraham Lincoln was one of the greatest wrestlers in the country because he was six foot four and it was eighteen hundred and everybody ate like paste. People forgot you could just sweep Except the leg. Except him, he yeah. ate big, big meat. No, a Abraham Lincoln allegedly won like three hundred wrestling matches before losing his first Holy one. Shit, because he was a yeah, he was like Goldberg, freak. but back in the day, That's insane. Uh, no, he was a crazy good wrestler. There's there's a bunch of like really funny paintings and like drawings of depictions of Abraham Lincoln beating people at wrestling. I hope that eventually throughout the annals of history, annals when uh when you know book burnings come back in full swing. I hope we burn all the books of Abraham Lincoln like freeing the slaves, and all he's remembered for is just being, being a really good wrestler. Badass wrestling and yeah. his cool badass hat wrestling and how much he loved. Theater. I think that, that be awesome. to be fair, that is a really cool hat. Did they keep his hat somewhere? Who has the hat? I have the hat. Probably it's mine. The descendant of John Wilkes Booth. Flew yeah, I was going right to say, probably head. the guy who shot him in the head. <laughs> That's why he when jumped he's... over the balcony to catch it. Six Semper Tyrannus actually uh, translates to cool hat. I'm keeping it. <laughs> uh. 
I actually don't know what it means. Hey, Ed, Sage Senpai asks, if you were immune to the law for a full 24 hours, what illegal atrocities would you commit and how would you perform them? I would take more acid. I don't... Is acid a crime? Oh, I guess oh yeah. Be. yeah. Oh, yeah. I would take way more acid. <laughs> I would, look I, I would become a drug demons. addict. Uh... Oh, so he's like, oh, you're in the purge. I just what fucking, do? I just fucking piss anywhere I want. I'm tired of bathrooms. <laughs> I'm like so over bathrooms. It's so fucking annoying finding a bathroom. I just piss. I just whip it out, piss it out, get out. Sounds weirdly personal. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm just so sick of bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be really cool to do Payday 2 loud heist, but in real. Loud heist? Oh, that's shooting. Dude, you can... I, I saw, like, a a news story not too long ago. Like, somebody was robbing banks, and there was somebody just in the comments that said, I thought they patched robbing banks out, like, years ago. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing you could still do. And I started thinking about it. It's like, I also didn't think people robbed banks anymore, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> There was a, so there was, when I was a kid, uh, this is related to robbing banks. And I I just thought about this. There was, uh, there, my grandma used to own a consignment store and this woman came in one day just after I'd left an hour after I'd left, my grandma called me and was like that woman that just came in. Uh, she was talking to my mom. That woman who just came in had just robbed a bank and spent all the bank robbed money at my store. What do I do? She told me (laughs) she robbed a bank for this money. What do I do? What is a consignment store? It's like a it's like a it's like a store that sells like furniture, garbage bags full of beanie babies. It's kind of like a it's kind of like an antique oh. store, but it doesn't like oh. call itself an antique store. That's uh, yeah, well, I don't know what what do you have it's to like give the money back? Antique store. I don't know what, what happened. Do do like I could case? call her, but then if I talk to her, I'm going to get sucked into her world, so I don't know if I want clarification <laughs> on that right now. Cuz I I've never thought about it, but that is weird. Like what do you what do you do if you get money that that was from a like robbed she apparently the the lady apparently like ran down the street walked into the consignment store the cops couldn't find her and then spent like a thousand dollars in my grandma's store and then ran Holy off and shit. almost got away with it what did she buy uh, i think she bought a bunch of like just weird little ju- like jewels and gems and rings little trinkets i was thinking in my head as a kid she grabbed one of the garbage bags full of beanie babies my grandma had and ran <laughs> out of it and the bag had like a dollar <laughs> sign on it what the fuck? But it was it was it was just apparently a bunch of like antique jewelry my grandma was selling, and she just put that in her purse and ran off. I mean, I guess after that you can just pawn it. Oh wait, I, I just realized. I think you're, I think they just used your grandmother for fucking money laundering. They laundering. laundered fucking yeah. They laundered money with your grandma when she. That's <laughs> fine. That's fine. I'm pretty sure her consignment <laughs> store was all ready for money laundering. Just fulfilling its purpose. Oh my god, what would you do, Ten? What would well, I do? Didn't say what illegal thing you would do. I feel like a, a lot of these answers we can't say. And I feel like yeah. the ones that I will say have been publicly stated already. Just imagine the worst thing we could do, and we'd probably do it. I've lost we're Twitter bored. accounts over what I, I've said. <laughs> like, we're, we're, we're bored. We'll do it. I'm determined. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah. Ten. Yeah. What? I'm oh. going to assume it involves threatening a person. So instead of saying their actual full legal name... You could just, like, what if you were Dan Harmon, I guess now, and you had to, like, like just replace their real name with, like, a fake Rick and Morty name and then say, and then threaten them, you know? And I think we'll be fine. What the fuck are you talking about? He, he knows what I mean, right? Come on. Please. 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 Ten. What are you talking about? <laughs> are you trying to get me to admit about? something? Are you a cop? <laughs> Why are you? Yeah, why are you acting like a fucking cop? No, I'm saying because you know Ten is saying that he's lost Twitter accounts over what he would actually say. So like, I'm gonna assume this involves you know threats to beings or institutions. So what I'm saying is like, you could just say like a funny name, like oh, like Badolf Bitler. You know, who's that? I would, I would go, I would, I would take care of Adolf. He wouldn't be a problem. He's dead. I didn't even know he was sick. <laughs> I can't <laughs> steal that joke. I can't, I, I can't I steal that it. joke, but if you fucking set it up, uh, I have to say it because it's <laughs> it's an all time it. great gag. <laughs> Who did that? Who it was, it was Norm McDonald. Fuck, that is a good. Yeah, one. <laughs> no, it's it's a fucking all time great bit. It's so funny. <laughs> I, I knew it. it was so the moment I said that, thing. I started smiling a little bit. 
because uh, <laughs> I knew it was coming. Oh, that was. Good. Let's do two real quick because there's another one that's super quick. That Matt asks, "Yo, what movie should I watch tonight?" Thanks. Uh, it's called Serbian film. Oh, it's called Solo. Go watch Dude. Nice Guys. Adventures with that. Pluto Nash. David, we talked about like, yo, when we're peaking, we should watch Solo 120 Days of Sodom. Are you fucking... And then one of my friends actually told me he did watch it, but it took him like a week to finish it. Yeah, no, it's not... It's it's not a fun movie. It's really fun to watch. No, it's a really fun movie. You should definitely watch it, uh, that underscore Matt. I also say Solo 120 Days of Sodom. Saying, What's your... What, what? Oh, sorry. I was saying, watch, watch The Nice Guys with uh, Ryan Gosling and... What's Ooh, his name? J- double feature it. Oh. Russell Crowe? Russell, Russell Crowe, Crow? thank you. I blanked yeah. on his name. I was going to say the guy from the Bad Les Mis movie. Uh, Mobcat asks, what do you think is the worst animal of all time? I don't even have an answer. The I just think that's a really... sunfish! What the fuck? I What's fucking sunfish? hate sunfish so fucking what much. Is- they don't taste that good. They breed just- millions and this? millions of sunfish hoping that some of them don't fucking die. They don't have two brain cells to rub together. And also, <laughs> they they're funny. fucking stupid. But I hate they, them. They look, they look funny. But they look funny. I want to take every sunfish <laughs> out of the ocean and throw it on the moon and they can live there instead as moon medallions. <laughs> Sunfish can moon fuck fish. off this planet. I'm activating why, it now. Why, why is Brendan so mad? <laughs> I hate sunfish. I fucking despise them. I don't know what it is, Dude, but so every time sunfish. I look at the round sunfish, I get incredibly upset. I am aggressively angry at sunfish, and I don't know what they did. I don't know who they killed in my family, why? but I'm going to get them. Brendan, have why you ever seen fuck? that video of some like fisherman in New Jersey seeing a sunfish for the first time, and they don't know what it is? <laughs> No. And they go, what the fuck is that? It looks like a baby whale. Sunfish literally, literally <laughs> get like fuck? chunks bit out of them and they just swim like normal because the animals are like, oh, fuck. And they just, they just, they just, sunfish roam around the sea like the chickens of the sea. But tuna is already the chicken of the sea because sunfish, I ain't eating that. I think kiwi birds are silly looking. Oh, dude. Is that, that the one you hate? Online. That's the one I hate. Um, I hate sunfish. Do you hate kiwi birds? No. Uh, I was asking Ted about the kiwi birds. I don't know, man. I, I, I don't have strong negative opinions towards animals. I think they're neat. But uh, I no, think kiwi birds are stupidly shaped. No, dude. I, why do you think I work at a one. fucking zoo? I don't give a shit. There has to be one. No. Like, they, they don't there do has anything. To be they just one. look fucking dumb. No. You have, <laughs> to, you have to. You can't fucking. Stop with your fucking cop out. I, it's not a cop out. I don't hate an animal. What's the worst animal? The kiwi birds. Look at them. Why are they shaped like that? Mosquitoes. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, those guys kind of stink. No, mosquitoes are Flies, an important part bugs. of the, the, the I, ecosystem. Tape Sorry. Worms. No, I do not. I don't know. I, I, tapeworms. Hey, t- tapeworms, are, tapeworms are a parasite. They're not an animal. They're an animal. Is a tapeworm an animal? At least a tapeworm will make me pretty, oh, but like pinworms suck. You know who the world's worst animal is? Ooh, ooh, I know, I know, I know. Man. Man. Pregnant women. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> they fall what? under that because it's like two of them. What the hell? I was going to say wasps. Wasps can fuck off. Have you ever seen those wasp destruction videos? I love watching those. I queue those up. Like <laughs> wasp, wasp nest destruction, destruction videos. videos. I watch this guy called like Wasp King. And I fucking love just playlisting <laughs> those when I'm really bored. And he just, he goes in with a shop vac and he fucking sucks up wasps nests. And then sometimes he takes all the grubs out of the nest and feeds them to wildlife. And it's fucking I know, awesome. When, I know you look up, up, when you Google worst animals, all the lists are just like most deadliest animals ever. No, I want to know what the fuck the worst one is, not the it's, fucking it's, deadliest. I would, I would say wasps. Uh, last time I saw a wasps, I cut its head off. Jesus. Yeah. It, it, it landed on my fucking toast, and I had, like, jelly on it, so it got stuck in the jelly. Oh. So I was oh, like, oh, you I fell know. from my trap, and I, so I took a butter knife, and I cut its head off. Oh, you could have taken know, a bite out of it. Literally perfect I really opportunity. Fucking, I really fucking Sorry, hate those... Uh, oh, God. What are those uh, th- 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 things that emus... Isn't that the thing thing that Australians lost a war to? Yeah. Fuck them. They're fucking ugly and stupid. Me watching Koala Man on Hulu. Fuck, I hate emus. What? Yeah. What the fuck uh, fuck is... They look like a smaller ostrich. It's just like a big... uh, Oh, yeah. It's just like a smaller ostrich. And nobody that comes to my zoo knows what an emu is and misidentifies it all the time. Most of the time, it's a look at the ostrich. But one time, a woman tapped her kid on the shoulder and said, look at that turkey completely serious and i was like i'm not even gonna change her she's just gonna her own little world that's what a turkey looks like i mean to be fair ostriches are also fucking dog shit 
fuck They're those scary. things. They'll Dude, fucking kill you. Google They're on mobile stupid. has a new thing. If you look up an animal, it gives you a 3D model of it that you can interact with. That's fucking <laughs> yeah. awesome. I'm excited to spin animals around later. No, are you, have you finish. actually never seen that? No, I just, dude, I'm yeah. fucking around with this 3D emu. This shit's sick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking spin around so many animals later. It's in my fucking room. It's in my fucking room. Dude, you, I could actually like flip a shark upside down, but it, like at home, safe. Wait, where, you know, you know where sharks you die if you flip that. them upside down? Yeah, they can't breathe. Oh my god, meet life-sized emu? Oh, what the fuck is in my room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no way. That's fucking This nuts. is awesome. Okay. Wait, hang on. What, what if I do fuck it? What's the funniest oh animal? God, Hammer it's shark. In my room. It's in my room. Hammerhead shark. Can I get a 3D one? Oh, it's just I walking can't. around. It's so big. What? It's like walking it's the largest in my room. Bird. Dude, hey, which, which animals are supported? Look up a uh, cloaka. Bison. Those guys are goofy. What? Fucking, fucking no bison? Weird. It keeps uh, looking okay. at me when I talk. <laughs> you could try buffalo. <gasps> I could do koala. Koala works. Oh, look at that fat Bro, fuck. What the fuck? Dude, Google technology crazy. Yeah, what else can nuts. I get in my this room? This like it was made in Gary's mod. <laughs> No, it does, but like it's fucking awesome. Are there any other questions? No, meet meet life sized koala up <laughs> Wait, close. I'll just, dude, if I was on acid and I found this app, I, be I would be having <laughs> the time of my life. Ed would be the next Steve Irwin. Holy shit, dude! That except thing is like tiny. not dead. Yeah. Wait, Stingray. Hang on. I could pick a koala. I could pick a koala. <gasps> There's kangaroos. Dude, we gotta stop. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> oh, you, you can't. You, you guys are so excited looking at all these animals, but oh I get my God, paid platypus. to do that. Yo, dude, platypus are tiny. What the fuck? Yeah, dude. What did you? How big did you think a platypus was? Bigger than a fucking cat. I thought it was like yeah. What? Yeah, I thought I'm gonna be. Real. I thought a platypus was like a Komodo dragon. I thought that bitch was big. Yeah, I thought it was big like a wombat. If I'm honest, yeah. platypus are like fucking otter sized. Hey, <laughs> never seen weird Phineas looking. and Ferb. That's accurate. That's how big they are. I, I, maybe that's why I thought that to be. You fair. were like Phineas and Ferb. I that platypus like, is huge. Yeah, I was like, damn. Platypus also too. aren't blue, David. Pretty epic, honestly. What? Platypus oh, also I... aren't blue. I'm just going to say is, uh, uh, the plural is platypi. A platypussy? Huh? How about that one? That's it's not. It is uh, definitely not platypussy. Okay. Yeah? Yeah? Holy shit. They have your mom in this. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Would you... <laughs> What if you what if you could just have like 3D models of people's bobs on your phone? <laughs> you probably could. I bet there's an AR scan. You could walk up to somebody oh and be like, God. Do you want to be in a video game? And they'll be like, Yes, I'd love to be in one of those video games. <laughs> and you just fucking have an AR model database. of somebody's mom in your fucking phone what if forever. You just look through the fucking animals like 3D animals folder on Google and there's just one that's like Felix's mom and nobody knows who Felix is. <laughs> Yo, dude, I, I don't thought, look like, now, but your mom is clipping through the wall in the door. Kind of fucked up. <laughs> I, I was going to troll everyone and, like, get a oh. job at TSA and rearrange the fucking big x-ray machine so instead it's, like, a big, like, David Cage full body scanner and then just have, like, 3D models of people's moms and then, <laughs> and then just rotate them <laughs> to fuck think, with people. How do you think metal detectors work? <laughs> You just gotta stick some AR cameras in there. You just stick some AR cameras Wait, in there. Wait, what do you mean? Just, I'll, you can make 3D models of things and people with a fucking phone nowadays. No, but I'm it's not a metal sure, detector. Right? I'm talking about the one that America has. Where, like, the you one that stand spins it around your, you. Yeah, oh, the, the other spin around. around. And every single yeah, time I'm not talking I about a metal detector. Off, so Is that not it? I just have sunglasses on in it. And they go, you're no, no. That's not a metal detector, David. That's a fucking full body scanner. Yeah, and it fucking circles your junk. Yeah, they they know what my penis is. They yeah. they have so many fucking pictures of your penis. No way. Yeah. Are they like impressed or what? I don't know. <laughs> have you ever gotten hey, pulled aside? They have a fan group literally yeah. at the TSA yes. office called PSTSA. There's a f David. There's a fucking as we <laughs> speak right now, there's a TSA agent rotating a 3D model of your cock. How does that make you feel? <laughs> They're mad. They think our acronym is better than theirs. That? They're mad. Uh, okay. Do another question, or are we done? 
I don't know. I, I can't I'm, believe we're still going. Oh, I also turtle. can't believe we're still going. I, I'm like looking at a 3D turtle on the floor and it's just fucking walking around. I'm just around. imagining like the, P the TSA this being really mad that TST is a better acronym. And just to get back at David, they're just yeah. in a circle rotating a 3D model of his shaft. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are they? Are they roasting it or are they just no, silently just looking at it? They're just, they're just, like they're just sitting there with their, with their chin in their fucking hand and nodding. They're listening to hard bass at the same time and nodding. While they look at a rotoscoped <laughs> version of your penis, and and it's, it's not dead, roto, it's it's not dead rotoscoped. quiet, David. It's dead quiet. Yeah. But every couple rotations, one of them goes, "Fuck." Because <laughs> I have a big penis. They're or trying to look no, for flaws. They're, they're trying to look for flaws in the system. There is no, there is no flaws in my penis. Yeah, man, you know, like a heist they're movie so where, like, they walk up to the table and there's yeah. a holographic table that pulls up like a diagram of uh, of of like the bank they're trying to heist. It's just yeah. like that. They go to the hollow table. They press their hands down, and your penis appears. Like, yeah. How do we break it? <laughs> Computer, no zoom in to break it. Computer, what zoom into his inseam. John, you're a you're a, John, you're a demolitionist. Tell me about this. Well, the vas deferens are definitely well defended. What's a vas deferens? I feel like you've told me already. Tubes. Uh, that's 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 part of your tubes. Yeah. My tubes. Did you know that a nutsack used to be fallopian tubes? Yeah, then your body decided to inflate them nice and big and round. Yeah, there's a scenario where, like, I could have been born a woman, and that makes me very sad. Hey, thanks so much for listening. This episode would not be possible without the help from our top patrons, such as Alan Diver, Ben Krismanik, Bure, Bupulu, Brain Soup, Caffeine Addicted Chemist, Cheese Dreams, Chris Chapman, Christian B, Cthulhu 60, Dasul Burt, Dreams of Ice, Ducky Madness, DX Studios, DX Studios again? Eric Scott Gillies, Ethereal, Fang Jade, Generic Phoenix, Handsome Destiny, Hater 115, Inspector Seb, It's Ducktastic, Jacob, Jeff Smith, John Requires Lasagna, Kawaii Boy Toy, Leo the Geotech, Loudon Woodworth, Madeline Sawyer, Me, Mr. Shirt, Sage Senpai, Samuel, Nothing Worth Mentioning, Shintanu Batia, Smaggle, Snake Asylum, Spherical Nathan, Teague, Winnie Rab, Will9455, William Oliver, and Winchester Curse. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next time.